<clears throat> hey y'all welcome to today's video y'all i've got the window open oh it's turned off a little warm i've got the window open i'm still battling these allergies though and having this window open and this pollen just is probably gonna, i'm probably gonna be stuffy again tomorrow my voice is getting a little bit better my husband's like well if you'll quit talking it'll get all the way better he knows me better than that. Okay, anyway, today's video is just an on-purpose video because I want to inspire y'all to get in your kitchen and play. I've said it a thousand times, but today I really mean it, okay? I want you to get in your kitchen, experiment, play. This is the reason why. Number one, Y'all have seen the prices. I'm tired of recalls. I'm tired of inflation. I'm tired of them picking one thing and all of a sudden we either have a recall on it or there's a shortage of it. Okay, I'm not going to chase that rabbit, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The prices are outrageous on everything right now. They're hollering shortages everywhere. We went through a pandemic, y'all, two years ago. Things were flying off the shelves. Did you, how'd y'all do during that? Okay? Y'all, this is the reason why I want to do this. Let me get y'all where I can. What if times really got hard? And we couldn't, emergency situations, financial situations, whether it be your personal finances, someone lost their job, or inflation gets higher and through the roof. Don't get me started. Um, I, anything, y'all. Can you survive? Can you come up with a meal with something you've just got on hand? I got grandparents, y'all, that lived through the Depression. Yes, lived through the Depression. You want to talk about emergency times and having to come up with a meal to feed your children on something you have in your cabinets and your refrigerator? Can you do it? Seasonal women, <clears throat> older women. We are called in Titus 2 to teach the younger women. Are you educated enough to teach your daughters, your sons, your daughter-in-laws, your son-in-laws, your grandchildren on how to come up with a meal in hard times and with what you have. And there's no food in the grocery stores. Trucks and boats and ships are not exporting and importing. Hard times. Are you educated enough to teach this younger generation? Young girls, get with somebody. Get with somebody. You're going to eventually have children times may get hard are you going to be able to feed your children or are they going to go hungry because you don't know how to cook and you don't know how to put a meal together y'all i'm not trying I, this is not gloom and doom and this is not trying to scare y'all in any way we need to be prepared and no i'm not going to sit here and and depress y'all with gloom and doom preparedness i'm just saying i'm stating a fact and i'm asking a question Will you be able to do it? How did you do during 2020 when we weren't able to get some things? Were you able to put food on the table? Were you able to, um, <laughs> you know, with the toilet paper situation? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. Will you be able to feed your family in hard times? Okay. My grandmother could put a meal on the table that you would think would only be for two people. But y'all, I kid you not, I could see a miracle performed right before my eyes. We're talking like a little serving in a butter bowl of stuff to feed five, sometimes six people. And we all eat and get our fill and there were still some left over. Y'all, I would see a miracle right before my eyes. I'm like, that little bitty bit just fed all of us at that. How did she do that? And I'd look at my mama. How in the world does she do it? She's like, I don't know. She lived through the depression. She knows how. 
older women, are you educated enough to teach these younger women? Younger women, get with somebody. Learn how to cook some things from scratch. Okay? You're going to have to feed your family if times get worse. Okay? That's what today, some of today's video is going to be about. Getting over your fear. Getting out of your comfort zone. Of just looking at what's in your pantries. And coming up with something. I'm in a small space. I'm in a hotel. Today's a perfect example. Every morning I go downstairs and I get some breakfast. They don't serve the same thing every morning for breakfast. So every morning I'll be like, ah, they're not going to have that out tomorrow. I better grab some this morning. So I've kind of stockpiled <laughs> in my room. Y'all, you're paying for complimentary breakfast. Why not use it? Stockpile. Put you some stuff in your cabinet in your room. So now I've got a little stockpile. Complimentary. I'm pay we're paying for it. My husband's paying for it. I want to see. I started looking and I'm like, I got that, that, that. I want to try something. And I'm like, get over my fear. I want to experiment. We're going to go through this together today. If it works, it praise the Lord, it'll work. If it don't, we're going to do this together and we'll figure out what I did wrong. What maybe I could have used better instead of this. Okay? We're going to do this together today to get y'all over your fear of getting in your kitchen and experimenting and playing with your food and learning to get out of your comfort zone and learn how to cook something from scratch by what you got. So today I'm going to try to make some oatmeal muffins by ingredients that I've got from downstairs and maybe a little bag of flour that I, I brought with me. Okay, the rest of it, I think, come from downstairs. Or I did have, today when I went and picked up a few things for our next week's meals, um, I got just a little four-pack of eggs. That's it. I just needed like one or two eggs for this. So I'm going to play around. I want, and y'all, I'm coming up with my own recipe because like I said, I'm just looking. I don't want a recipe. I do not want a recipe. We are going to do this together and figure it out and just sit, play with our food. I want an oatmeal muffin. I want a muffin consistency, which means I'm going to have to have some kind of base batter, but I don't want the batter too liquidy and soupy because I want it to the oatmeal. I want the muffins to have that muffin granola bar consistency, a breakfast muffin. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to figure this out, okay? So I will walk y'all over here and I'll show y'all the ingredients that I have and what I got to work with and just a few little things I picked up. So let me see here. Y'all, Turn y'all around. <clears throat> I got all-purpose flour. Baking powder is going to have to go with that to give it a little rise. Egg for binding. Now I can use yogurt in this or egg in this to use as a binder. But I have milk if I just want the regular batter. Yogurt, in times of, if you don't have eggs, y'all, you can substitute with yogurt, applesauce, pureed bananas, or any kind of pureed fruit. I've got a few, just a nibbly little pecan scraps here. Vanilla. I got these from downstairs, y'all. Okay. And then I picked up dried fruit and almonds. Who knows? Let's see if we can do this. I will take y'all along on this journey with me. I've got one of my bowls here. Y'all, this is an insert from my Instant Pot. I'm going to use this as my mixing bowl. I'm going to bake these in my air fryer. And y'all, I'm just going to have to play with it. Temperature and time. Okay. I'm going to play today. And I'm going to bring y'all along with me so you can feel comfortable and know. Hey, there's another woman out there. She's playing with her food. If she can do it, surely I can do it. I need to get out of my comfort zone. Let's quit being scared to get in our kitchen and play and come up with something, y'all. We're going to do this together. So I'm going to bring all my ingredients over here, and we're going to start fixing up this batter. I'll bring y'all right back. 
All right, y'all, we are going to get started. So I'm just going to put a little flour in first. You know what? I only want to do about six cups. We're going to see if I can put it in that, y'all. If this is not big enough, then I'll switch. I only want to, I'm going to test. I only want to do about six cups, okay? So we're going to get our batter going first. And I'm, y'all, I'm not measuring nothing. I'm eyeballing this, y'all remember? Let's start out with that little bit first. Baking powder, you know you gotta have that to make all-purpose flour rise a little. Uh, for that little bit, that's gonna be fine. Okay, now let's see our egg. Milk. Y'all, these little things come in handy, I'm telling y'all. Use your resources downstairs. All right, milk. Y'all, just for the sake of taste, because this is raspberry, I want to try just a little bit in here just for some taste. And a little bit of color, look at that. <laughs> just a little bit of taste. I'll eat the rest of this, y'all, for a little snacky snacky. Mm, that's good raspberry, y'all, because this is cranberries. Okay, um, got my wet, dry, oh, vanilla flavoring, just a little splashy, splashy, oop, that's enough, nope, that's enough, okay, this has the seasoning in it, a little bit of brown sugar, maple, so I'm not going to have to add a lot of sugar or anything like that because now if you're using instant oatmeal or just regular oats you might need a sweetener okay the yogurt's gonna give it some sweetness the vanilla sugar I'm, I'm gonna use what's in here I might grab some brown sugar I'll put a little bit of extra granulated brown sugar in it but if you're using just to make sure if you're using just the canister of oats uh, old-fashioned oats with no sweetener, no no seasonings. Put you a sweetener in it. Syrup, honey, uh, sugar, brown sugar, okay? Um, I just grabbed these from downstairs to make use of them, y'all. So, we're going to put our oats in here. Let me break up that brown sugar that's in there. All right. Remember I said I don't want it soup. So we're gonna stir this and see what it looks like. I'll get my brown sugar out in a minute. We'll just make as many cupcakes as this batter is. Okay, I know right now, I wanna save the almonds to go on top. I wanna reserve some almonds to use as garnish on the top. We'll put some in here. Hmm, let's see. I want, it's, it's a little too goopy. That's not what I want. So I want more of these. Let's see if I can get it. I want it more on the drier side, like a um, stiffer waffle, like granola, but a little binder to make it kind of muffiny. Y'all know what I'm talking about? 75, 25, <laughs> not 50, 50. Uh, let's see. Why not? We're, we're playing y'all, right? Y'all, if you will sit and watch Food Network and these shows on these competitions where, <laughs> oh, my pecans, on these competitions where they, uh, what's the name of that? Chopped. Where they give these contestants, there's a glare, they give these contestants a basket of food. And, and you want to talk about having to come up with a meal on the spur of a moment, and they have to come up with three with the ingredients that's in their basket. Y'all need to watch that show. Okay, let's get our pecans in there. Put 
just going to use the rest of what we got. Throw that away. Y'all don't let me forget my brown sugar. Okay, y'all, this is kind of getting to the consistency that I want. See how it's getting clumpy now? Yes. Okay, this is getting perfect. Okay, let me go grab my brown sugar right quick. I'll be right back. Y'all, I got my husband some Splenda brown sugar. Half the calories. There's only four grams of sugar in here, y'all. Yes, that's good. It's just something that he can, can use. But I want to I wanna give it a little more. Uh, that's enough. Maybe that was a tablespoon. Okay. Oh, this is looking and smelling good, y'all. Now, I want to use my cupcake liners. This is a good consistency right here. I think this is good, y'all. We're going to put a little bit of almonds. Because this may make just four cupcakes. And that's okay, y'all. I, I don't want to waste them in case they don't turn out right. All right? This is a good consistency, y'all. It's holding together and binding together. So, um, let me move my reserved toppings. I'm going to get my air, let's see. I need to make some space here, y'all. So y'all can see what I'm doing and I don't knock anything off. Let's throw trash away. Because I need to put my air fryer basket right here. So, when I get done, I will be able to just transfer these over to my air fryer basket. Let's put that over there. So y'all can see my assembly line here, can you? Oh, that's trash. Let's move this up here. Okay, air fryer basket, put this. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, y'all, silicone liners, there's no need to spray these. They pop right out. We're going to try four first, see how many these make. B4. Uh, I better use my spoon for this. And y'all, these are instant oats, so there's no, so whoa, <laughs> there's no soaking, nothing like that. Be careful the kind of oats that you get, okay? Don't waste that good stuff. Okay, let's see what I can get here. I like this consistency, y'all. Three quarters of the way full. I don't know how much these are going to rise. Just three quarters. And then I'll top it with the almonds. I'm going to put them in my air fryer basket. They're holding their shape pretty good in those silicone liners. All right, let's get another little goop. Whoop. I dropped a goop. Can y'all see? All right. All right, three quarters of the way. It's going to hold its shape. I might get six out of here, y'all. Let's see what I can get. I really hope these turn out, y'all, because I do not like oatmeal just sitting down with a bowl of it for breakfast. The consistency, y'all, I, I, it gets my gag reflexes. I can't do it. I can't. There's another reason why I can't eat oatmeal. I, mm, 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 and I can't tell you because it'll probably make you sick. Okay. six. No, I'll get six, I think. Five or six. We'll see. I'm trying to line these in here to where they kind of popping up against each other. All right, let's see what I can get. I may get six, y'all. Maybe five and a half. <laughs> uh, six cupcakes, y'all. I think I'm going to get six cupcakes. Don't let me forget to put my almonds on top, y'all. Now, y'all, we're using an air fryer. If I was at home, I'd probably put my oven on 350 or 375, but we're using an air fryer. Smaller space, and my heating element is at the top of my air fryer. So that tells me the top of my food is going to get done quicker before the inside. So I better go down on the temperature. Six cupcakes, y'all. 
I need to go down on the temperature and increase the minutes. And y'all, I'm just gonna have to play with my air fryer, okay? I'm still learning my air fryer. Every air fryer is different. I, my, the one at home that we have is different than this one here. So see, I have to remember which air fryer I'm using because mine at home doesn't have the basket. It has trays that kind of looks, mimics an oven, a mini oven, a food dryer look, okay? It doesn't have a basket. It has wire trays, okay? So the air can circulate. And you have to rotate the trays. The heating elements at the top, you have to rotate the trays. So mine at home is different than this one. So I have to remember which air fryer I'm using and how to use it. So I gotta play around, y'all. And this is not my oven, so I gotta play around with what I got. So let's use the rest of these toasted almonds. Oh, y'all, I hope these turn out so good. These look really good, y'all. But y'all, I really want to find a different way to eat oatmeal. For me, you know, for a more filling, full breakfast. And if I like these, I know my granddaughters will like them. And we buy uh, rolled oats all the time, old-fashioned oats. Because y'all, let me give you a little tip. You can buy the canister of old-fashioned oats. You can put them in a food processor and grind them up and make oat flour for baking. There's you a good frugal, um, hard time <laughs> tip, okay? Turn some things into flour for baking. Old-fashioned oats. Is a whole, and grinding them up is a whole lot cheaper than buying that bag of oat flour, y'all. There's your good little money-saving tip. Shh, I won't tell anybody. Because y'all, a bag of oat flour costs like three to five dollars, depending on where you go, six dollars maybe, versus a canister of, of old-fashioned oats for like three or four and y'all, when you grind it up into flour and you bake with it, that canister's gonna last you a little while longer. You can make bread, you can make muffins, you can make, you can substitute oat flour for things that you would use wheat flour for, okay? But I will tell you, they're gonna soak up more liquid, okay? So just know that when you're making bread or muffins or something, they're gonna soak up more liquid. So there's y'all a good little frugal tip. Y'all, I can't wait to try these because these kind of look good. I'm going to show y'all what they look like. Let me turn y'all around. Look at that. That's look pretty doggone delicious. Now, let's put them in the air fryer. Oh, I got to get all my stuff on top of my air fryer. Use caution when you're using an air fryer, y'all. Especially in a hotel. You don't want to set off the alarm. <laughs> Never run off from your hotel room with something plugged in and cooking while you're gone, okay? Insurance purposes in a hotel. They don't mind you bringing something if you're a long-term stay cooking, but do not leave your room while something's cooking, okay? I'm always in my room when I have something cooking. I don't want to be responsible for burning down a, a building, okay? <laughs> okay? Mama's in the kitchen. No smoke alarm's going off. Mama's in the kitchen. Okay. Um, oh, I got to turn my air fryer on. Hold on just a second. I got to lean down here and turn my air fryer on. All right. I got it. Now, I'm going to shift these to the middle and up against each other so they'll kind of hold their shape. Y'all, I'm losing my voice. Did y'all just hear that? I sound like a frog. Croak, croak. Okay. Carefully in there. Now, I see it. I'm going to play around with it. So, we're going to go down on temperature. 325. Up. Now, what kind of minutes, y'all? Let's start out with 10 minutes first. Let's start out with that first. And then I'll check with a toothpick to see, okay? So, we're going to start with that first. When this 12 minutes is over, uh, 10 minutes is over, I, we're, we're going to look, okay? I'll let you look. We'll decide whether or not we need to add more minutes or go up or down or whatever. I'll bring y'all back. While that's baking, the next thing I want to try 
is y'all making granola bars, baked granola bars. I want to try. Let me get this off. Y'all, I got birds out here in this tree. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got little birds out here in this tree. Uh, anyway, okay, squirrel. Uh, no, not a squirrel, but me, okay? I want to try some baked granola bars like you pick up in the store. Y'all, sometimes it's cheaper to make your own granola bars and they're healthier because you know what's in them, okay? I want to try granola, peanut butter. I can't do honey because it's got more sugar in it than... I found some sugar-free syrup that I can use for the sticky binding. Uh, I can go downstairs, y'all, and get the nuts and the fruit, and they have coconut flakes. Uh, what else? You gotta have, let's see. All, uh, all you do is you mix your oats, your peanut butter, sticky, making it stick together, and your sweetener like honey, syrup, something like that, some molasses, goopy, sticky. You know, there's nothing like sticky honey, okay? Because the reason being, you want your baked oatmeal, your granola bars to hold together, not fall apart and flake apart, okay? And then any nut or dried berry, you do not put wet fruit in granola bars. It's gotta be dried fruit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs. Oh, that's my next project. I may do that in the morning. We might try that in the morning. I just, <laughs> I wanna try to find a way to eat oatmeal, y'all, that's healthier and binding and things I can do with my granddaughters to teach them how to put some things together. Y'all, that's simple for them to make. And then all you do is you just um, line a pan that's flat, a square flat pan, you don't want a big thick loaf, okay? Push it down to where it's about that thick. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Lord bless somebody because that was an ambulance. Prayers be with you, okay? Yeah, we hear that a lot. I hate that. We do hear that a lot because the interstate's right out here. There's been so many wrecks, y'all. It's not even funny. Anyway, okay. You want to press your 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 mixed granola down into your pan about like that about like that because you're going to slice these into little bars after you bake them now you can bake them or there's refrigerator oatmeal bars you can do the same consistency and then you can um um refrigerate them and then take them out after they've been chilled and refrigerated and cut them into bars I may try both. I may try baking them, the baked granola bars or the refrigerator granola bars. Research that. Come up with y'all a recipe. Refrigerator granola bars or baked granola bars. Y'all, I like the crunchy. I like that. You know, I want the crunchy. Okay? And then I may try both of them, y'all, just for the sake of trying it. I may whip up some, go get me a little small canister and um, since I'm limited for space, get me a little small canister and try some. I picked up a little thing of peanut butter. I can get fruits and nuts and coconut flakes downstairs. Chocolate chips. They got chocolate chips, y'all, because they do pancakes and waffles down there. And you can load them babies up, okay? So, that's going to be the next thing I do, y'all. That's going to be the next thing I do. It's granola bars. Baked and refrigerated. See which ones I like the best healthier versions, okay? Y'all, I'm just trying to tell you, there may come a day when all this packaged stuff is not on the shelves anymore, and you may have to literally throw something together from scratch and use your imagination. Get over your fear. I, I don't know how many more minutes we got, but we're gonna check them here in just a minute. All right, y'all, let's see what this did. I took one out. Oh, hot. I'm gonna stick a toothpick in it, y'all, just to make sure there's no liquid. I know it's not gonna have that goopy effect. It is gonna be dry because that's what I want. But I do wanna make sure that whole inside is done. I don't wanna get down to the bottom and there be a goopy mess. I'm seeing a little moisture, but let me do a test. We're gonna sacrifice one muffin, y'all, to do a test with. 
So let's see. I'm going to let y'all see this. We're going to sacrifice. Look at that, y'all. We're going to sacrifice one muffin. Okay. Okay. Woo. Okay. Hot, 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 hot. Okay. Let me tear it open. This is kind of. Let me make sure. Oh, yep. Right there in the middle. See, there's just, we sacrificed one. Okay. So, I'm going to say, what do y'all think? If I go a couple of more minutes at 325, I'm afraid the tops are going to start getting... So how about next time, we're going to think this out, okay? How about next time I do these, I go down to maybe, that was 325. I go down to maybe 310. No, 315. Go down on the temperature a little bit up the minutes to where that way the inside gets done without burning the tops. Does that make sense? So in order to finish these, I think I'm just going to go down to 320 for like maybe two more minutes. I'm going to put this one back together, squish it back down, and we're going to do that and see if it gets the inside done. But the next time I decide to do these, I'm going to go down in temperature, and I'm going to write this down on a piece of paper, too, and put it in my little binder that I travel with for my air fryer. I'll do 315, 320, and up the minutes. But in order to finish this batch, to get the inside done without finishing the top off hard as a rock, 320 for about two more minutes. We're going to see what they do, okay? I'll bring you back. All right, y'all. That was two minutes. I went down a little bit. It's still... We're just going to try, y'all. I'm going to open this up. It's still just a little moisty in the middle, but it's not doughy. I'm going to say... I'm going to do it one more minute, y'all. Oh, Now I'm going to do it in, in increments of minutes. But I'm going to say, I think if I would have done three minutes, that would have finished it up. Okay? That would have finished it up. So I'm going to write this down just for a taste test, y'all. That's not bad. I think I could do that, y'all. That's not bad at all. That tastes pretty doggone good. Let's see. For just throwing things together, y'all. No measurements, no nothing. Not as much dark brown sugar. Just a teen for what I made, just a teeny tiny bit. Because I'm getting that brown sugar. Oh, y'all, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think I could, I'm going to reserve that one, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating it. But I still need to pop those back in there just for like one more minute. Let me do that while I'm talking to y'all to finish these off. One more minute would have done it. I just got too antsy, y'all. And a little scared, y'all, because I, I, you know, I'm playing, okay? I'm going to say one more minute to one. Go back down to 320. Y'all, like I said, we're going to learn together. Let me taste this one. Let me get a bite of cranberry. I can do this, y'all. I like these. I found a way I can eat oatmeal. I'm sorry. I just found a way I can eat oatmeal. And nutritious and it be healthy for me yeah I just found a way I can eat oatmeal
you're welcome. Maybe you found one too and you don't like oatmeal just in the bowl with water or milk, okay? But y'all, next time, let's, let, let, I'm gonna write this down. Go down about 10 degrees. I did 325 for 10 minutes first. And y'all see I had to increase the minutes. So if I'm gonna go down in temperature, I'll do about 315 and probably do 12 to 13 minutes and check it. No more than 15 on 315. I gotta work this out in my head, y'all. Sometimes you're going to have to do that, y'all. Sometimes when you're playing around and you're experimenting and you're playing with your food, okay? You're gonna have to figure some things out on your oven, your air fryer, your Instapot, your your toaster, I don't care. You know, sometimes you have to play around with your toaster. That gummit, it's still not like I want it. I don't want it burnt, but yet, and, and hard as a rock, but I don't want it too soft either. That's why they have levels on there, y'all, so you can play around, okay? Microwave, don't be scared. Get over your fear. Work things out, write it down as you go. If you have to tweak it, go back and write it down the right way that worked at the, at the end, okay? Don't start out saying, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it because you may have to tweak it. Don't get scared tweaking your recipes, y'all. Write things down. When you do tweak it, Go back and write it down for the final final results okay final ingredients final time final uh temperature okay so i'm fixing to go write this down and i'm gonna finish the other half of that cupcake or, or muffin that was pretty good um so 315 i'm gonna go down the next time and possibly 15 minutes or 13 ish 14, 13 to 15 minutes in my air fryer. Now, y'all, you may have to play with your air fryer. Start out lower temperature, more minutes. So that way you don't start out high temperature and you wind up burning something on the top and the inside's not done. Fluctuate, convert, okay? Go up and down, all right? Welcome to a new way for me to eat oatmeal. Y'all see, that was not hard. We went through that together. If y'all got some ideas and y'all saw something that you're like, hey, try this next time, put them in the comments, okay? I enjoy hearing from y'all. Y'all, every time you watch a video, please hit that thumbs up button, okay? Because that just helps me out. It helps grow my channel. I'm very passionate about what I do, y'all. Being the keeper of the home and teaching the younger women I'm very passionate. I have granddaughters now. I taught my sons. I have granddaughters now. And I, I love teaching. I like helping people get over their fear, get you know, all that good stuff. Y'all help me grow my channel. Share, like, thumbs up, subscribe, give me some comments. Okay, please be nice. Play nice with others, okay? <laughs> please be nice, okay? And let's learn together on this journey. There's more to come, y'all. Just stay tuned. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today and helping me discover a new way to eat oatmeal and not be scared. There you go. See you in the next.